Okay, Vasif. So let's go with your snap interview for structures. And this interview is for smart uh, manufacturing for ISC Bank. Okay. So Vasif, before we move ahead, just give me your very brief introduction in just 30 seconds. Sir, sir my name is Muhammad Vasif and I am I have done my civil engineering from JNTU College, Telangana in Kukatpalli. Uh, my major project was uh, in uh, uh, simulation of overflows over dams. And I have done my internship from Polavaram Irrigation Project. Okay. So, a very simple question, Vasif. How your civil engineering will be helping us in smart manufacturing? Sir, in civil engineering, uh, I have also given a paper on a 3D printing. In smart manufacturing, there is a separate lab for additive manufacturing. I think uh, this knowledge of uh, 3D printing, which is going to be a huge thing in civil engineering next in the uh, coming future, would be very influential. And since smart manufacturing focuses on Industry 4.0, uh, I think 3D printing would be uh, 3D printing would be a great thing, big thing, and I'm interested in that. Okay, that's good. So, uh, what are your views on? I just want to know what are your views on traditional concrete building, the cost that is involved in building a structure using concrete, and what will be the cost involved using our 3D technology while building the same structure? Yes, sir. Uh, 3D printing, uh, first, uh, while setting up all the equipment, the cost would be very huge, sir. But uh, in case of mass buildings, like, uh, for example, governments would be planning uh, building small houses for uh, free, free houses for poor people who cannot afford houses. In that case, 3D printing would cut us cost by a lot, by a lot, sir. We would, uh, we would not spend uh, as much as we do by using conventional techniques, by using concrete, if we build those buildings. Okay. But if in cases of buildings which are uh, a state of art buildings, uh, which are one of cases, the cost should be very high, sir. Okay. 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 Tell me, well, what do you mean by flexibility and stiffness? Yes, uh, flexibility means the uh, the displacement which a object has uh, when a unit force is applied on that, uh, and stiffness is the amount of force required for a unit deflection. Okay. Where do we use stiffness? So stiffness, uh, as far as I know, uh, we use uh, uh, there are two methods: flexibility matrix method and stiffness matrix matrix method, which are used to find the uh, unknown forces and unknown displacements, sir. Unknown forces and unknown displacement. Yes. Okay. 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 So I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Suppose that this is a bending moment diagram. I'm trying. Okay. It will come only till here. Okay. This part okay. is extra. This value is 10 here, then it is 8, and then it is 6 here. Yes. This value is 6. The distances are 1 meter, 1 meter, and 1 meter. This is your bending moment diagram. Okay. Yes. Sir. Bending moment diagram. And just suppose this is positive. Can you draw its loading diagram? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll draw in the book and, and I'll show it to you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll show this in the camera. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank like you. Like this. Clockwise. And clockwise. Fine. Very good. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Moment is distributed. Okay. Take it. That's very good. Okay. Tell me, uh, what is the purpose of internal hinge? Sir, uh, internal hinge. Uh, acts as a way to free the movement. At internal hinge, since movement is zero, we would be easily able to 
make the structure determinate sir you would be easily able to uh, calculate the uh, unknown forces okay where have you seen an internal hinge in your practical life in my practical life uh, internal hinge no sir not that i recall anything uh, having an internal hinge i might have seen it but uh, i didn't uh, realize I, i don't think i realized there was an internal hinge okay no problem also uh, wasif i i can see behind you there is an elevator yes sir okay just go and open the open the door yes the instant you open there is a hinge okay can you yes. tell me what are the forces acting on that hinge when you open it yes sir. the forces acting would be the weight of the door and uh, the torque which i am applying here movement will act over it movement will not act over it sir because uh, it's a hinge and the moment completely would become zero there okay so what kind of load is being acted on the hinge by the door i think it would be completely axial sir axial you sure yes sir downward force due to weight of the okay door anything about bearing stress or shear stress yes sir shear stress would be there sir shear, shear stress, stress be there. yes sir shear stress will be there okay so what what is that type of hinge is it structural hinge or internal hinge this is a structural hinge sir it can it can be internal okay and uh, what is plastic hinge sir in plastic hinge when uh, the load when the moment reaches up to plastic moment when the moment goes uh, above the yield yield moment and it reaches the plastic moment the uh, beam on which which are uh, on which uh, we have we are applying the moment uh, completely bends like this in a linear fashion uh, creating a hinge here which has plastic moment acting on that okay aapne kahi dekha hai plastic hinge ye sab padha hi hai plastic hinge sir the plastic hinge it is a padhai hai maine technical knowledge nahi hai civil engineering is all about practical when you are constructing a house you see the house internal hinges bhi hote hain okay acha uh, please draw a three dimensional beam actually my camera is not working draw a three dimensional beam mark it uh, depth as uh, d width as b and length as l g okay g ha okay. okay. can you show yes okay uh, please mark here also b and d on the other side b and d b and d yes now please mark an axis which is parallel to b as x x axis parallel to b parallel to b b side on the cross yes. section yes 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 ha huh. this is x x axis and parallel to d that is y y axis and mark the load uh, this longitudinal axis as z z axis longitudinal yes correct good Okay. Now suppose that the load is acting. It may be point load. It can be U. Anything is acting. So can you tell me? Ah, up upper side, one load. Laga lo. Point load. Laga lo. Beam pe. Top se. Anywhere. Kahin pe bhi laga lo. Center pe laga lo. Kisi bhi jagah pe. Okay. Yes. Okay. But tell me, what is the axis of bending? X X axis, sir. X X axis. Okay. And what is the plane of shear? uh the plane of uh normal stress would be means it the plane of shear up uh, the plane of shear would be uh it would be I, I, shear would be acting along y y axis and the plane would be z i xy plane sir xy plane xy, XY plane okay acha tell me why bending stresses are linear the bending stresses bending stresses are... 
बट आपका मोमेंट तो चेंज करता रहता है I mean, जो भी शेप है इसका ये नो वापिंग इन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीन एंड देर आर लीनियर द स्ट्रेन इज ऑलवेज लीनियर एंड द प्लेन सेक्शन रिमेन्स प्लेन द मेटीरियल इज होमोजीनियस एंड आइसोट्रोपिक एलास्टिक एलास्टिक एंड होमोजीनियस टेल मी वॉट इज लीनियर इलास्टिक बिहेवियर uh linear elastic behavior so i think linear elastic behavior would be a uh, stress strain uh, this strain this this thing sir uh, as the strain increases stress also increases linearly ye to sirf elastic ho gaya hmm acha ye elastic hai elastic linear elastic this is the stress elastic उसके कारण हम लोग बोलते हैं और हम ये भी जानते कि इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ स्टील विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट स्टील और एनी अदर मटेरियल विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट तो इलास्टिसिटी कांस्टेंट है और स्ट्रेन लीनियर है तो आपका बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑब्वियसली वापस से लीनियर ही आ जाएगा जी ओके जी तो ये हमारे लिए हुआ मोस्ट ऑफ योर पार्ट इज वेरी गुड अब पीछे जो मैंने आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा था ये डोर के ऊपर एग्जैक्टली सेम क्वेश्चन बार्क के अंदर पूछा गया था बार्क में बार्क में देर होस एन एलिमिरा और एलमिरा के ऊपर उन्होंने पूछा कि इस पे जब आप इसको ओपन करते हो तब हिंज पे किस किस तरीके के लोड लगते हैं तो हिंज पे कंप्रेसर लोड नहीं लगता ठीक है एक्शन लोड नहीं लगता है हिंज पे क्या लग रहा है नीचे की तरफ एक शेयर फोर्स लग रहा है ये जो डोर है इस डोर का पूरा का पूरा वेट क्या कर रहा है हिंज को नीचे की तरफ एक फोर्स लगा रहा है ओके अंदर की तरफ लगाएगा तब उसको बोलेंगे कंप्रेसर कंप्रेसिव लोड कैसे लगेगा जब आप डोर को पकड़ के अंदर की तरफ प्रेस करोगे तब लगेगा अब डोर का जो वेट है वो नीचे की तरफ एक्ट हो रहा है तो वो उस हिंज को क्या कर रहा है शेयर फोर्स एक्ट कर रहा है उसको शेयर फोर्स लगा रहा है दूसरा द लोड ऑफ डोर इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू बेंड द हिंज हिंज को बेंड करने की भी कोशिश कर रहा है और तीसरा देर इज अ बियरिंग स्ट्रेस विच इज एक्टिंग ऑन द हिंज जैसा आपका होता है ना रिवेट फास्टनर्स जो होते हैं रिवेट जी सर जी सर उस पर शेयर स्ट्रेस आता है बियरिंग स्ट्रेस आता है तो सेम चीज है यहाँ पे भी इस पर अब इंटरनल हिंज आपने देखा नहीं है इंटरनल हिंज क्या होता है जैसे आपकी एल्बो है हाँ सर योर एल्बो दिस एल्बो इज एन इंटरनल हिंज ओके दूसरा अगर आप जैसे देखोगे आपने अगर बाइक की चेन देखी है तो एवरी पॉइंट ऑन दैट चेन उसको आप मोड़ सकते हो मोमेंट इज जीरो एट एवरी पॉइंट दैट इंडिविजुअल पॉइंट एक्स एज एन इंटरनल ओके सो आई गेस मोस्ट ऑफ